Thanks a lot, Jill. Just a few months ago, the Fox 13 Problem Solvers introduced you to a young girl with a life-threatening heart condition. Uh, doctors thought they lost her during surgery when she had a massive heart attack. Doctors were able to save her, and following that surgery, they used an artificial device to keep her heart going while she waited for a transplant. A heart transplant that never came, and then late last week, Lizzie Roberts died. Scott Mattis joins us live in the studio with details and a look back. Scott? Well, good evening, Merle. It was a sad story in the realities of life, a story that everyone thought would have a happy ending for Lizzie Roberts finding a donated heart, but that story tonight cannot be told instead. It's a story about a loss of a life. We remember Lizzie Roberts. I'm making flowers out of paper For darkness takes the afternoon I still have to wrap my head around that I died in the hospital. 17 years of life for a 17-year-old girl named Lizzie Roberts was long enough to touch the hearts of the entire Mid-South. She will really be missed. 17 years of caring and loving heartbeats in the end was enough to make people care and think. I love her. We'd like to have her right here right now. 17 years that ended in heartache was too much. She's in heaven with the Lord. But 17 years of this life was not enough for the people who never wanted a girl from Michigan, then Mississippi, to go. I was on Monday with her before she went into surgery. And um, she just said she didn't want to die. And she said that she was scared. And I just told her it was okay and I loved her. And she told me that she loved me back. And um, that was the last thing that we said to each other. When the Fox 13 problem solvers introduce you to Lizzie Roberts just a few short months ago, she was how everyone will always remember with a shining smile, full of life, love, but most of all, full of hope. I want to be a band director or a music teacher. I love music. That's what I want to major in. Not just for life, but for a new heart, so that she could get rid of this artificial heartbeat. It was nearing Christmas, and her wish, which did not come true, was only for a donated heart to save her life and keep her alive. Let somebody else have a chance. Let somebody else get life from your death, you know? But last week, fate's shadow that we cannot question, in time's hand, we cannot turn back, struck a minute and a second in time that Lizzie's loved ones will never forget. I'll never be able to see her again, and all I have to live with is the memories that we made. Her parents already gone, Lizzie's grandparents raising her after the loss. Inside their Duck Hill home, words cannot even begin to explain how life will never be the same. She really had a fantastic smile. But it's inside this home that's now deafeningly quiet. This chair, where Lizzie loved to relax, now empty. The sound of her heart beating. The sound of her laugh. Now gone. Lizzie's seat at the kitchen table sits without her. In her bedroom, where Lizzie sang. And where she remembered with these pictures, her life gone by, now only serves as a memory where Lizzie dreamed of a more simple life. She had an amazing family. She had amazing friends. Memories of Lizzie's shining smile will never be forgotten. But it's here at the Duck Hill Cemetery where Lizzie found the peace and happiness she had been searching for for so long. Flowers adorn where she lays. Cards remind us that countless hearts are heavy and tears are only a memory away. So today and for the rest of eternity, while Lizzie rests in peace, through her own words, she reminds us her life and her legacy will never be forgotten. Just appreciate you know, everything that you have and you know, 
to be an organ donor because it's important and um, just when you, you know, be thankful for everything that you have in your life and you never know when something like this could happen. Like, I never imagined that anything like this would happen to me. I never worried about it. And, you know, now that this has happened to me, I see, you know, how important little things are, how important your family and your friends and all the things that you do are. Now, the bottom line why we did our original story and why we follow this story up is to keep Lizzie's message alive, her message how important organ donations are and how they can actually save a life, possibly someone that you know. Now, Lizzie was an organ donor herself, and I just got word that her liver will be going to someone who needs it. So that's a, a very touching uh, uh, sentiment for herself and her message. Yeah, and uh, first of all, our condolences to the Roberts family and to all of her friends. Uh, she mm -hmm. certainly gave us a lot of joy and hope. I remember that story yes. and how it made me double check just to make sure that right. I, in fact, was an organ donor. Absolutely, and, and the original message in our original story, by the way, if you have not seen it, just go to myfoxmemphis.com, go to the problem solvers, and you'll see her story there. But the uh, original message, so few people in this part of the country sign up to be an organ donor compared to other parts of the country so it's 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 a lesson learned yeah and what a legacy to leave for such a young lady absolutely all right thanks so much Scott. Yes.